Hello students, welcome. Okay, today I am starting with one of the important chapter. Many students are finding it difficult to understand. But actually the chapter is very easy. If you do it thoroughly, so I am taking it step by step. I am not completing the whole chapter in just one lecture. Slowly, slowly you understand the basics of similarity. Okay, and then we will move to some difficult chapter. Slowly, slowly we will go to higher step. Okay, you reply me. Okay, if you don't understand, I will take it uh, more slowly. See, similarity. The main thing of similarity means triangles are similar. What is mean by triangle similar? Means similar triangles are not congruent, but all congruent triangles are similar. See, similarity means two triangles are similar if all the angles are congruent. Angles are congruent. That is A criterion. But sides are in proportion. Means therefore automatically sides are in proportion. If two angles are congruent, third must be congruent. Two angles are congruent is A criterion. So third angle must because angles are property. Third angle must be congruent if two angles of triangle are congruent. The third angle, so even if you for two tri triangles, if you prove two angles are congruent, automatically the third angle must be congruent by angle sum property. Okay. And sides are in proportion. If proportion is 1 has to 1, then triangles are congruent. Okay. Means if their areas are equal, vagare vagare, the triangles are congruent. Okay. So the basic things will go. Okay. Of similarity, the first concept of similarity. Triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Okay. In a figure, you may find this way, that way, that way. But anyway, first understand the basic. Then in the figures, what you want to, you have to prove. Try to prove the angles congruent. Or is proportion of side if given. Okay. First look at your tri triangles properly. Understand your triangles, which triangles you have to prove similar. Okay, so if you prove triangle ABC similar to triangle PQR, by suppose A criterion, angle B congruent to angle Q, angle C congruent to angle R, this is correspondence. ABC corresponds to PQR, means angle A congruent to angle P, angle B congruent to angle Q, and angle C congruent to angle R. Okay, this is criterion. Then you can write triangle ABC similar to triangle PQR, this way. Okay, once you write the similarity with proper correspondence, Okay, correspondence is important here. Angle A congruent to angle P, angle B to angle Q, angle C to angle R. Okay, if there are junctions, you have to uh, name the angles in three letters. Then you take the ratio first two upon first two, AB upon PQ, that is equal to BC upon QR, is equal to AC upon PR. First third, see the ratio properly. In numericals, you might find one uh, term missing. Getting one or two terms missing, either in the first two ratios or second third ratio or first or third ratio. One term will be missing and you will have to find out. And let it be x or whatever by cross multiplication, by putting values. They are simple one two mark sums, but uh, may be part, uh, part of big sums, four mark sums. So understand the first basic concept of similarity. If triangles are similar, angles are congruent, then sides you can take proportion and the proportion will be same because they are similar. Then by cross multiplying you can find out the unknown quantity. Getting? In second, maybe one ratio will be given full, other two ratio, one one thing might be missing and you have to find out properly. Check the answer. If it is going wrong, state the correspondence. If you have written the correct correspondence or not. Angle-wise, go angle-wise. Then your correspondence will be right. Okay? All the best for those sums. Okay. And based on, I am not going to prove. You should, I am just teaching you the basics. Because proofs are given in all the textbook mostly. That is a BPT. If you know. This is BPT. 
दैट इज ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ सिमिलरिटी दैट इज बेसिक प्रपोर्शनैलिटी थेरम मे इन ट्रैंगल ए बी सी ओके इफ एम एन इज पैरल टू बी सी नाउ हियर आई एम टेलिंग एम एन पैरल टू बी सी इन अदर मे बी सम अदर एम एन पैरल टू ए सी वॉट एवर विल बी ओके बट हियर फॉर सिंपली सिंपली आई एम शोइंग यू इन ट्रैंगल ए बी सी इफ एम एन पैरल टू बी सी देन टेक द रेशो एज एम अपॉन एम बी इक्वल टू ए एन अपॉन एन सी दिस इज बी पी टी बेसिक प्रपोर्शनैलिटी थेरम एंड कॉन्वर्सली इफ यू गेट द रेशो इक्वल एम अपॉन एम बी इज इक्वल टू ए एन अपॉन एन सी देन ऐटोमेटिकली बाय कॉन्वर्स ऑफ बी पी टी एम एन इज पैरल टू बी सी अंडरस्टैंड द थेरम प्रॉपरली बिफोर सॉल्विंग द सम इन बिकॉज बी पी टी ऑल्सो न्यूमेरिकल्स कम फाइंड वन अनोन टर्म एन सी वॉट एवर ए एन एम बी बी एम वॉट एवर गेटिंग समटाइम्स दे गिव फुल साइड ए सी ओके ए सी इफ गिवन एंड एन सी इज गिवन यू कैन फाइंड आउट ए सी माइनस एन सी दैट इज ए एन गेटिंग इट पर एक्जैक्टली ए एन इज रिक्वायर्ड इफ ए सी इज गिवन यू फाइंड आउट एक्स इफ बोथ द फुल साइड इज गिवन जस्ट वन इज एक्स इफ ए सी इज टेन सपोज देन ए एन इज एक्स एन सी विल बी ऑटोमेटिकली टेन माइनस एक्स गेटिंग एंड यू विल गेट द एंसर बाय क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाइंग इट विल बी जस्ट अ लिनियर इक्वेशन इन विच यू कैन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स टू गेट द करेक्ट एंसर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस इज बी पी टी वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टंट थेरम आई विल सी सम मोर कंसेप्ट बेस्ड ऑन बी पी टी ऑल्सो एप्लीकेशन ऑफ बी पी टी आई विल टेल यू दोज कंसेप्ट बिकॉज वंस यू अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट इट विल बी इजी फॉर यू टू गो फॉर डिफिकल्ट सम्स गेटिंग यू आस्क मी विच सम्स यू वॉन्ट मी टू डू एंड आई विल डू इट फॉर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग द पार्ट This is the basic part I'm telling you right now. This is the first part. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Similarity I will divide into three, four parts, whatever more. It won't be longer so that you won't get depressed or okay, whatever difficult or okay, whatever. You won't get the feeling. You must feel this is very easy and it is very easy. Maths is not difficult. Understanding? Okay. I will go to next point. Okay, the more basics I'm telling you of similarity, based on similarity of BPT. See, the proofs are based on BPT. Get it? See, that is the property of intercept by three parallel lines. Okay, one of the important small numericals come on this. In some proofs also you require this. See, what these these are three parallel lines L, M, and N. When you line L. parallel to line m parallel to line n all three are parallel and if this line p and line q are transversal okay they are intersecting the line in point a b c p is line p is intersecting the three lines in points a b and c okay and in line q this is also transversal another transversal intersecting in this the, the same lines in points capital l capital l capital l okay lines are denoted by small letters and points are denoted by capital letters we write okay so in this case the intercepts are same like ab upon bc ab is the intercept okay as per definition of intercept you have learned ab and bc is also intercept lm is intercept so ab and lm are intercepts of line l and line m bc and mn are intercepts for a and n as lines are parallel they make equal uh, the ratio of intercepts will be same like ab upon bc ratio will be equal to lm upon mn ratio getting if they are parallel they will be equal but p and q are non parallel lm and n are parallel line l line m line n but line p line p and line q are transversal intersecting lines they are making intercept and we are studying the concept of intercept so see the formula in this ab upon bc ab upon bc the ratio will be equal to lm upon mn provided the three lines are parallel 
if the ratio are not equal the lines are not parallel getting so this is one of the important concept understanding this formula you should know b upon b c is lm upon mn now in the numerical you will find may this uh, figure may be in this direction whatever one thing will be missing and you have to find it by cross multiplication whatever or if full length is given ln you can take is one is x suppose the length is given as uh, 15 one is x other is 15 minus x but the ratio will be same okay actual numericals there are so many numerical similarities a vast concept okay you have to practice so many sums by from different different books from different different papers and then you will be able to deal with this similarity understanding it's very easy once you understand it is very easy it may take time some students finding it very easy some are finding difficult okay so for those understand the basic concept once your, your ratio is correct your and the unknown you are putting at the right place and after cross multiplication you will get the correct answer get it i am teaching you just basic in this lecture i am not going to take numericals numerical now you try you try numericals based on this which you are not getting your answer going wrong then ask me that numerical your practice is very important but some students have not understood the basic so i am telling the basics understanding and one more property that is from similarity only that is angle bisector property in triangle abc if ad is angle bisector ad is angle bisector angle bisector it divides angle into exactly two parts if in this case if in angle bisector property in triangle abc if ad is angle bisector then ab upon ac ab upon ac equal to bd upon dc this ratio you will find the same this may be a part of one big sum but once you understand you can write the go on writing steps writing proper reasons this is geometry you need to write proper reasons for each step getting any doubt you can ask me again these are the basic things before doing similarity in numericals even the proofs proofs also you need these properties okay one more thing i am going to tell you that is pythagoras theorem it is proved from trigonometry uh, from similarity only by using similarity we can prove the pythagoras theorem i am just telling you what is pythagoras theorem okay now one related concept also i am telling you it is related to similarity that is pythagoras theorem because uh, in proofs you need in mixed sums of similarity sometimes you have to use pythagoras if you see right angle triangle this must strike in your mind that we can use pythagoras theorem okay apollonius theorem we'll discuss later on that is also based on pythagoras theorem but it's okay if you require you can ask me such numericals about apollonius that is not about right angle triangle but that is apollonius theorem is about median okay this is pythagoras theorem some basic that in triangle abc actually you know from 6 7 standard you have studied pythagoras theorem but still i am telling you in triangle abc is angle b equal to 90 degree then ac is a hypotenuse so sum of square of two, two sides like ab square plus bc square is equal to square of the hypotenuse this is pythagoras theorem if you see right angle okay, uh, where you can use it like to find the diagonal of rectangle two sides are given immediately you can use because rectangle all angles are right angle so immediately you can use pythagoras to find out the third side square also in rhombus diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of each other so if diagonals are given half the diagonal and then uh, you can make a, you can see by the, after uh, drawing diagonal you can see the right angle triangle half diagonals half diagonals and one side you get 
by using Pythagoras theorem, one unknown thing you can find out. Not necessary every time you have to find pi hypotenuse only. Getting? You may have one side will be missing. Getting? Or they may uh, like a ladder is kept on wall. It is a right angle triangle. A building. See, always straight. A pole. Okay? Or a man standing, shadow falling. All are Pythagoras sum easily. You can find out if two sides are given, one is right angle, then only. Getting? You can use this Pythagoras theorem. Okay, one related to Pythagoras theorem is 30, 60, 90 theorem. If the angles of triangle are 30, 60 and 90, then only you can use this property. That side opposite to 30 degree is half the hypotenuse. Means side is 10, it's a hypotenuse is 10. Then AB will be half of that 5. And side opposite to 60, opposite to 60 degree. That will be root 3 by 2 times the hypotenuse. This is 30, 60, 90 theorem. Shortcutly you can use in uh, without using. If you if the angles are 30, 60, 90, then you can you give the title 30, 60, 90 theorem. Instead of using Pythagoras, you can go for this shortcut. Understanding this is very easy to understand. You can easily calculate the different sums like diagonal of squares, rhombus, wherever you find perpendicular rectangle, one angle is should be right angle. If one diagonal is drawn of rectangle, it becomes right angle triangle. Two right angle triangles, congruent right angle triangles. Okay? And this way you can find out the missing terms. The theorems are useful, related to similarity. So I told you, helpful for you, for doing small, small sums, numericals. Getting one mark, two mark, but you shouldn't lose the marks. So your basics must be strong. You can score the easy marks. Understanding? Any doubt you can ask me. Any sum your, your answer is going wrong, you can ask me. Do not hesitate. Okay? Slowly, slowly I am taking in the next part also area of similar triangle, okay, okay. Some difficult thing. But the first basic things you should know, so I told you. Okay? Thank you. Support my channel.